I will uh, do everything I can to get back and uh, recording ASAP. Hopefully this will work. You guys just kind of give me a heads up if you're receiving now. <laughs> and then when I have confirmed that it is working again. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, um, I don't know why, but, uh, the internet in this neighborhood is just terrible, and it tends to... Yep. It sure did. Knock three times. The eyeball door. Okay, this is going to be painful, so if I don't win right away, don't be mad at me. I will have done my best. I am objectively terrible at this fight. I have shot an AR-15, yes. Yep. I think they look cool. Um, they're not like the best rifle ever, but they're, you know, fun and stuff. Yes, I also love guns and weapons. I should be using super missiles for this. Definitely. Ugh. And I should be better at dodging, but I'm not. I know there's a way to dodge these, I just don't know what it is. Ah, open your damn eye, Fantoon. I don't even know how far back it was since I last saved either, so... If I lose... That's going to be kind of a problem. It's going to be a pretty huge problem. Very soon. Just the worst. Absolute worst. I'm, I'm, I'm toast. Yep, there we go. I was expecting that. I freaking hate that boss. And however far back I saved, because I couldn't save in the ship. But yeah, um, if you love uh, guns and stuff, then you'd probably enjoy my mortar videos that I do every 4th of July. It's a recreation 8-inch Confederate field piece that my grandpa made for reenactments and such.
The other boss that... The other boss that I know is gonna give me just a ton of trouble is, of course, Ridley. Because if I was doing a casual playthrough, I would take the time to get, like, every single E-Tank I could first. But since this is going to be a race, I'm kind of trying to do it low percent. Such as it is. With questionable results. Oh yeah, I made a potato I've made some potato guns in my time. Fun stuff. Oh, there's no might about it, my friend. I am definitely a redneck. There's just no getting around that one. Okay, this time will be different. Or, alternately, maybe I'll just miss with every single missile I fire. Oh yeah, I was Easter egg hunting with the 357. That was fun. Okay, I think I was doing better at this boss when I was using the charge beam, so... I'll try that first. And so far, no good. This ain't working. Oh yeah, the um, road trip videos. Those were a lot of fun too, but sadly I don't know my way around where I live now, so... Kind of not practical in the least at this point. How the hell do I dodge these? Is there even a way? If there is, I don't know of it. Hate, 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 hate this boss. Whoa! He's gone berserk! Screw it! I'm just using missiles forever now. I'll do it. Yeah! Missiles! Kick ass! You know what would kick more ass if I didn't keep getting hit? Like, if I could just stop taking damage right now, that would be the bee's knees. The cat's pajamas. The anachronistic thing's other thing. I'm gonna die again. It's kind of inevitable at this point. And I'm out of missiles, because of course I friggin' am. Hit him! Hit him! I didn't hit him. 
Did I get him? Did I freaking get him? Oh. Woo. Sweet, merciful crap. That is a hard fight. Yeah, if I died on my trip back to the save point, that would just be, like, the ultimate F.U. from the game to me. Hopefully, this will not be the case. Where was that save point? I think it was up and to the right. This is not the save point. This is something else. Here we are. Okay, now I can breathe just a little bit easier. Now, if I can just remember what things are where. Some super missiles, that's cool. I'm always happy to have more of those as has been well established. Is the broadcast still working? Yep, seems to be. Okay. Yes. You know, I've often wondered if this particular ghost ship is anything similar to the ghost ship from the Metroid Prime series. Like... I think there's some tie-in fluff text with those, but I can't remember for sure. It's been a while since I've played them. Probably also didn't need to go hit that map room, but oh well. I recently picked the uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy series up for the Wii. Even used, the game was still 50 damn bucks. Which is slightly ridiculous. Uh, let's see, I do need the gravity suit to go through here, I think. I'm guessing? No, guess not. Okay, go. Cool. Sequence breaking for fun and or profit. I may get killed trying to go through there though, so I probably shouldn't. If I was a lot smarter, I'd be grinding for health right now. But I'm not. I am adult. Get, get, get in the hole! Thank ya. Oh, I got hit. Yes, this is true, Gray. All right, I gotta kill everything. So, those 
floating things? Are they just, like, really angry molecules, or what? Like, how... What, what evolutionary path caused those? These are questions that keep me up. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, I need to force those things into the pits for some reason. And I don't remember what that reason is. Because, again, it has been a very, very long time since I've played this. Also, I think there's a secret in here. I would know for sure if I had the X-ray device, but I don't. I neglected to get that. Uh, nope, doesn't look like there was anything there. Well, that's unfortunate. And now I'm going to have to do an awful lot of shooting again. You know what? Missiles. Are not as effective as I had hoped they would be, all things considered. Good to know. Now, one thing that used to drive me absolutely batshit crazy back in the day was that, well, he'll see it in a minute. If I don't screw up. I very well may screw up. It's been known to happen. ER there, bouncy. Is this thing still broadcasting? Yeah, seems to be. Again, I have had to be ex... No, 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 no! I didn't want to go down there. I've made a horrible mistake, and now I have to walk back up. Can you imagine how bad it would be if I'd gone into that race without having practiced at all? have been horrendous. I feel like... Yeah, basically what I'm describing this race to, to people, is it's the race to avoid being the guy that loses to Ix the hardest. I am told he is quite good at this game. So I am told. Oh, well in that case, let's just get out of here. Just gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here. I think there's a thing up top that I can find. 
if I go up there. I can't remember if it's something important or not. I think it's like some missiles. Oh, the uh, room under the door is where I go to get my gravity suit, except I forgot and screwed up last time and fell down below it. So that is my next location. With 99% less failure, hopefully. No, 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 no! This game. It trolls. Sometimes it trolls hard, sometimes it trolls fast. Sometimes... Take a drink indeed, my friend. <laughs> Insert 25 beers to continue. <laughs> I, I need 100 beers. Exactly 100 beers. Um, the door right out in the open. Um, I should probably check. Just in case. You may be right. It has been a... V I'm actually hoping that Lantus will, um, like come up with a speedrun help thing so that we'll have something to look at, like the quickest non-huge sequence breaking route. Okay, door. Check to see the door. Down here. Oh, yeah, okay, yep. Probably should have checked that sooner. Now, I know there was a trick to getting this. Now I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It wasn't that. How do I get through here? That wasn't it either. This would be the time when, like, a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, x-ray scope would be pretty helpful. But I didn't pick it up yet. So now I gotta do this. Okay. I want to try to not fall. Nope, that's... <sighs> Fuck my donkey. Yeah, uh, the only bomb upgrade is the power bombs, and I already got those. I just legitimately, for the life of me, can't remember how I'm supposed to get to the gravity suit from here. And it's kind of a big deal, because I really need the gravity suit to get through the next area. No, don't fall down. Fusion was a pretty good game. Same thing with Zero Mission. In fact, I have never played a Metroid game that I flat out didn't like. But, you know, I, I used to be a lot better at them. You know, if this race had come up back when I was 14 years old... Power bombs. Uh, yeah, good idea. I like it. Oh, 
Like I say, my best time for this game back when I was a kid was, like... I, I can't remember if it... I think it was about an hour twenty. Uh, the first-person shooter Metroid games, um, the Wii version actually fixed a lot of the problems because using the Wii mode is kind of similar to having a uh, mouse aim. Like, it's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good, all in all. Okay. Let's use a power bomb. See if I reveal any secrets. Secrets and lies. Secrets and lies, secrets and lies. Oh, need the uh, speed booster here. That's not doing anything for me. Okay. How the hell do I get in there? I legit can't remember. Chrono Cross was a fun game. Okay. How do I get in there? Yeah, but the gravity suit is around here somewhere. I just can't remember exactly where. Oh. Well, here we are. Now, personally, I consider Chrono Trigger to be brilliant in terms of storytelling and execution. So, Chrono Cross, as a sequel, was disappointing in relation to Chrono Trigger, but it was still a great game in its own right. That! See that thing? I always wondered about that. That orange monster. Look at me! I can't grapple to save my miserable life. As a kid, I always hoped that just once this Chozo statue would just fling me like a bowling ball. I always thought it would be funny if that happened. Okay. There are secrets to be found. I mean to have them. Maybe I should have gone and gotten the other thing first. Now, I think that there's a place where I can do a dash, or... I don't know. Ah! There we are. This is what it's all about. Ah! My crappy D-pad is not doing me any favors. It's, it's, it's really bad, actually, if you can see it there. Duck! Duck! Quasix! Really? Okay. I see how it is, Samus. It's like, you can't be bothered to duck except there when I completely didn't need it. Cool. Thank you. 
I appreciate that. No, 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 no! <laughs> this game be trolling. Trolling hard. Thank you. That's all I really wanted. I don't know why I need it. In terms of speedrunning, it's kind of pointless. But I just wanted it. Also, that was an accidental power bomb. There's my gravity suit. We're glad to have it. Welcome to the team, gravity suit. You are a beloved part of everything I need. Alright, now I can jump around underwater. Jump around, jump around. <laughs> Accidental power bomb is a good way to start a war or a wrestling match. Back in my day, power bombs weren't called power bombs, they were called the jackknife. the mouse. Save point. That is not a terrible idea. And next I need to head to Meridia and fight what I used to think was the hardest boss in the game until I learned the secret. Let me just look at my magic map. I'm just taking these hits like it ain't no thing. It'll be alright, this is the starting area. If something kills me here, I'm in real trouble. Also, these guys drop lots of health and stuff. Just so much health and missile refills. a save point here. Yeah, one thing I can say about where I live now over where I lived in Shawsville is that at least the power doesn't go off as much. Yes, this is good music. And uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Please uh, hang out and watch my complete lack of ads or anything. And I'm just gonna go take a quick bathroom break. I will be right back.
And I am back. Apologies for the delay. <laughs> Quick, everyone act casual. Okay, I need to make my way to Meridia. I think I can go down here for a quick energy tank, though. If I am not completely mistaken. Ah! Ah, um, let's see. There's a trick floor. And nailed it. Somehow. Super missiles, also good. And now I can fall down here and I won't feel too bad. has been saved. I'm starting to get back in the hang of this game. I get stuck on spikes because why would I not? I just need to easily, slowly, casually jump my way out of here. Yeah, back when I was a kid, this area was a pain in eight asses, but it's not too bad now. Those guys show you about the wall jumping. Which is something that I've had some degree of success with. Um... Wait. I feel like I should jump all the way to the top to get a free thing, but I can't remember what it is. I'll go back and try it, and then see if it's worth actually getting. Because if it was an energy tank or some super missiles, then I definitely want it, but I don't actually remember. I'm getting wrecked by spikes. It's like I want to be the guy all over again. Get in there. I like that. I know it's possible, I just don't remember the best method. Maybe it's bombing up. Ah, so close. Now I have to know what's in there. I'll do the 
this the hard way if I have to. I used to be a lot better at this, too. My timing's a bit off at the moment. I swear I'm not incompetent, I just act that way. Ah, get in there! You stupid piece of crap D-pad! If I was using a PS3 controller, this would not be a problem. But no, it's an Xbox controller, because that's all that Windows wants to allow to function. There we go. Now, was it worth it? No, it was not. It's a power bomb. If I ever need 25 power bombs... At least I'm really good at wall jumping. That makes me feel marginally better. Some of you may know the struggle of having to use an Xbox controller D-pad. Also, I should probably drop a save. Just cause. Couldn't hurt. It would be advantageous to me. Yes, PlayStation D-pad. One of the best. Like, I have, I have a PS3 controller that I got after my original PS3 controller actually wore out from overuse. The problem with using a PS3 controller on the PC is that you have to use a third-party uh, driver. And the third-party driver tends to actually... Um, cause my computer to BSOD from time to time. Alright, I think I'm on the right track. I could use my grapple beam to great effect here, maybe. If I wasn't absolutely terrible, I should probably kill those things first. That works. <laughs> Grapple beam, how pedestrian. Let's see, where am I going? Where am I going? I'd be interested in knowing what kind of adapter you use to get a PS1 controller to work with your PC. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty rad, Gray. I would love to have one of those. I'll have to look it up. I'll Google it. Which is something that I can do because I have the internet. People are always asking me, Hey, do you know anything about X, Y, and Z? I'm like, no, but I have the internet, so do you. Why don't you Google it? And they're like, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of Googling it. And I'm like, great. I'll just Google it for you. Eh, might as well go ahead and get the, um... Whatchamahickey-jiggy X-ray beam while I'm over here. Because, why not?
Well, I can't answer questions on my phone because my phone has no data plan. Sadly. There's the x-ray scope. Which works thusly. How, how, how does it work? There we go. Right. That's pretty fly, yo. Because I that that's cool, I think, because I have this really great old PS2 controller that I loved deeply because it had a built-in fan that cooled your hand when you turned it on. Like it it blew cool air through the grips. The only problem with it was that you couldn't actually calibrate it, and the joystick was slightly off. But if you could use it for a PC, you could probably calibrate it. probably work on the PS3 because hardly anything works on the PS3. Like as far as USB support goes. My USB headphones, for instance, do not work on the PS3. They work for online chat, but if I just want to hear game audio... Really? That's pretty cool. I heard that PS4 controllers work really well with your PC as well, but I have never confirmed that. And now, the Meridia. And the awesomely haunting creepy music that comes with it. That I always thought would seem right at home on a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I would believe that. I also believe I may be going the wrong way. This hole right here. I tried to find it yesterday and I just couldn't manage it. Okay. I have a vague notion of where I am in relation to where I need to go. But it's a very close thing. Ugh. <laughs> 
Damn you, mecha fish thing. Who even builds robot fish? Mad scientists that no one like, that's who. So I'm sure the good people of MIT are right on it as we speak. Those wacky MIT scientists will make anything, and it took me forever to figure out how to get that missile container back in the day. Dr. Robotnik, um, point taken. I did not think of that, but I cannot disagree with you on that. Robotnik's been known to make himself some weird, wacky stuff. Also, I think I can get some super missiles by wafting myself through the left-hand wall around here somewhere. Yeah. If I could stay in ball form for more than two seconds. Rosser is indeed still playing. Um, okay. If you can't see me playing, you may need to refresh your window. Yeah, of course I call him Robotnik. He's a doctor. He makes robots. It makes sense. Okay. I need to probably go back up where I was. Oh, okay. Cool. Gonna need some kind of bigger gun to deal with that. Well, I think the whole Eggman thing was, like, closer to the original translation, but they called him Robotnik when it came out in America, and so on and so forth. I don't know the whole story. Clearly, I was a Nintendo kid growing up. I guess I just have to go through those rooms if I screw up with the grapple beam. Probably. Maybe. I used to have Sonic Adventure 2 battle for the GameCube until I let someone borrow it and then I never got it back. Um. Aha! Where am I, and why am I here? And am I making a huge mistake by going through here? Yes. Don't do it. It's a trap. Spoony Bard was one of my favorite childhood lines. That's a bowdlerization. Bowdlerization being the... Uh, um, technical term. Oh crap, I'm heading down. Downtown. Down I go. Whee! Did not help. 
at all. Okay. Ah, why can't I do this properly? Um, thanks for that game. Appreciate it. Let me back up, game. You know you wanna. Thank you. Thank you, drive through. No, 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 no! What happened? I used to be good at grappling beam games. You guys saw me beat Bionic Commando, right? That's a grappling beam. That's a grappling hook game. I didn't hallucinate that, right? It happened. I am objectively terrible at every video game. Okay. What what's the deal? What's the gag? What am I what am I missing? Why am I suddenly terrible at this? Dick move game. Every every dick move that is possible. Thank you. Don't fall! That's it! I'll use force! I'll bang my head against this brick wall until I win. Good thinking. I loves me some Xeno Gears. But I think I may have already... Yeah. That would have been nice. I mean, they had plans to finish the actual entire game, but then they ran out of time or ran out of money or something. Have you ever played through Xenosaga? Because that was a lot of fun, too. In the time it took me to get through that grappling hook room, X could have beaten the entire game. Twice. Um... I don't remember where I'm actually supposed to go from here. I'll just fling myself. Far and fast. Alright then. Don't question it. Um, they actually did an anime of Xenosaga, but it was just like 
the story arc through the first game. Well, I got some missiles. Yeah, because missiles are the one thing I didn't have. Where the hell do I go? How do I get over there from here? Sure do wish I could remember. You know what would fix everything right now? A couple of corn dogs. If I had me a couple of corn dogs. Yeah. With corn dogs, I would win this game forever. the gag. There we go. Nope, that only gets me more missiles. Hmm. Well, I do appreciate having more missiles. It's not the crux of my problem at this particular moment in time. supposed to go. Does anyone know? Does anyone remember? Where the hell is the next area? Oh, to make my fajitas decent, I use a secret blend of herbs and spices. Mostly spices. Entirely spice. Now I remember where to go, okay. I forgot about that little chestnut. Like, if I really go all out on fajitas, then I fry them in a pan with gin, like actual gin, and plenty of garlic powder, um, and uh, instead of cooking oil, I use sesame oil. It's pretty rad. to do is shine spark my way up that hole. An entire lime, you say? And right in the head. There we are. I feel like I'm getting somewhere now. I'm making progress. Which is nice for a change.
It would not be the worst thing in the world if I refilled my health a bit here. Just, just a little. I'd say that's about enough. Um... Okay... Clearly... I have made yet another error... ...in my direction finding. Veggie Omelet MRE? That sounds... horrible. Maybe... here. And if I sink down that hole, I think I wind up going somewhere else. The question is, is it where I particularly want to go? And the answer to that is... maybe. This room brought to you by Super Mario Bros. 2. Sesame oil is fantastic for cooking. And I gotta get there from the other side. I love me some sriracha sauce. Okay, I seem to be partially stuck. Now, I'm thinking, yep, I can get up there. See, some of the secrets I can remember perfectly, other ones I can't figure out to save my life. There's just no way of telling. Now I am over here. <laughs> this should be the way to the plasma beam. Which again, not... No, no, no! I'm going over here now. Because the game hates all sentient life. Maybe I can get back over there without it taking the rest of my life. No! I'm not flipping you off, audience. I'm flipping off the game. I don't know if you can see me flipping off the game, but I'm doing it harder than I've ever done it before.
<laughs> Yoink! <laughs> Jump! Okay. I am making progress. It's the greatest. Huzzah! And I'm even close to a save point. That's mm. on up there, Samus. Yay, the day is mine. Oh yes, the day is mine. And up is the general direction. Where the hell am I going now? This doesn't seem right. I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way. Where am I? I don't know, man. I've done some pretty nerdy crap over the years. I played Dungeons and Dragons on a weekly basis. If that isn't nerdy enough, I don't know what is. A Sonic the Hedgehog tattoo, but I do have a Sonic the Hedgehog shot glass. I, for one, enjoy watching you Let's Play RPG Maker games. Admittedly, it's kind of a niche audience, but I think it's quite rad. Alright, let's see... I need to get to the area below. So, maybe I need to go down here on purpose. How do I get to the right? How do I get through that door? Not like that, that's for damn sure. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I go back through the tube. The tube of mystery and woe. Wait. Can I get to the room to the right from here? Get in there! Open up, door! I have VX Ace myself. 
I started working on a game for it, but I am a very lazy man. So, I've kind of only got a couple of dungeons. I used to play Warhammer 40k myself. So, going up there was a huge waste of my time. I should have frozen those and walked across them. That would have been the way to go there. I was orcs. Okay. In theory, I could get up there, but I think I need the space jump. Um, try refreshing the stream. That could help, in theory. Yeah, it also could be my, um... My internet connection is going out on me. Uh, one second. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I do apologize. Where do I go from here? Ah, I have an idea. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm getting confirmation that frames are dropping. Okay. First, I get rid of this. Like so. And then, if an enemy shows up, I can freeze it, in theory. I, I don't know. I'm at more than a bit of a loss here. This game was always a pain in the ass trying to figure out where to go at this point when I was a kid, but... This is why I'm practicing. Lure monsters through bubbles. I am not sure exactly what you're talking about. Can I move quicksand? Stop being a bastard! Should be able to find my way around. I don't know what the big frickin' deal is here. Oh, um, no, you can't do that. Not in this particular one that I can remember, anyway. And sometimes I just jump really high for no discernible reason. I wonder if I can jump up anywhere in this room. That's a new... Okay. Cool game. Appreciate it. 
I could go down there. For all the good that would do me. But there's a huge blue room that's unexplored right there, and I don't know how to get into it anymore. I used to be so good at this game, I don't know what happened. I'm getting old and worn out. It's sad, really. And here's another room I can't do anything about. Yay! Take all damage. All damage. Okay, I think I'm gonna save out and call it a day on this one. I'm gonna have to go look up a walkthrough or something to remind myself. Also, it's getting late and I'm kinda hungry. And, you know, since my internet connection is being really crappy, it's a good place to call it. So, um... <laughs> yes, that I did. Oh, I've given my age away dozens of times. But anyway, everybody, uh, thanks for showing up. I appreciate you all hanging out, and I will probably do some more of this tomorrow. If I am able. So, um, thanks everyone for showing up. This has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.